In this video, we'll learn how to insert a new subform entry into an existing record on the main form without needing to update the details in the main form. We'll use a sample app to demonstrate this use case. Imagine a scenario where a hospital needs to add new medical records to existing patients for recurring visits without having to edit the main form every time. Let's explore how we can fulfill this requirement. The screen you see now is the add patient form used for adding new patients. Additionally, we have another form, prescription, to input prescription details for patients during each visit. This form is added as a subform within the patient form, ensuring that patient details and prescription records are stored together in the same record. Patients may require different medicines during each visit, leading to changes in their prescriptions. As a result, a new record containing their updated prescription needs to be added to the patient's file to maintain a complete medical history. To achieve this, we'll create a configuration that allows users to add new prescriptions for patients without exposing their entire medical history. Follow these simple steps to meet this requirement. Let's begin by creating a stateless form. Ensure you create a stateless form with the same fields as those present in the subform. Here, prescription details is the subform. Let's duplicate this form and make it stateless. To do that, from the editor, Access the form builder of the subform prescription. Click on the three dots located at the top right corner and select duplicate form. Provide a form name. Leave the checkbox unchecked as we are creating a stateless form. Select all the fields and click on duplicate. Now we have all the fields identical to those in the subform. Additionally, we need to add a number field to store the ID of the individual record, which we'll utilize in the upcoming steps. Click done. Next, we need to create a new custom button on the All Patients report. When clicked, this button should open the previously created stateless form as a pop-up. From the editor, go to the Design section and choose All Patients report. Under Quick View, select the Actions tab. Clicking on the plus icon for a single record lets you add a custom button to each record in the report. And choose to display the action item always or based on a condition. In this case, Let's choose to always display the action item as we want to display the button for all the records in the report. Choose when to execute the workflow. Give a name to the workflow and proceed to create. Click on Add New Action and choose Deluge Script. Select the Create Your Own option to proceed to define the script. The logic is to open the stateless form in a pop-up window when the Update Prescription button is clicked. To accomplish this, we can utilize the Open URL task type hashtag form update prescription question mark fetched ID plus input dot ID pop-up window here we open the update prescription stateless form and pass the custom buttons record ID to the fetched ID field on the form we specify pop-up window here to open the form as a pop-up click done next let's proceed to the final step which involves creating a workflow triggered by clicking the Submit button on the pop-up to make an entry on the main form's existing subform. To do this, access the Workflows section and create a new workflow based on the Update Prescription Stateless form. The workflow should be triggered upon clicking the Submit button. Give a name and proceed to create the workflow. Click on Add New Action and select Deluge Script. The logic entails fetching and adding the values from the update prescription stateless form, then incorporating them as an additional entry on the existing subform report on the main form by matching the ID of the record. Implementing this logic involves several steps. First, we need to fetch the field values from the update prescription stateless form. Once we have retrieved these values, we proceed to add them specifically as an additional entry to the existing subform record. We do this by matching the ID of the record. Let's now proceed to define the script, which will give you a clearer understanding of this logic. Declare a variable, new entry equals add patient dot prescription details. We'll copy and paste the upcoming lines of code to save time. Here, the first line initiates the creation of a new row in the prescription subform within the patient form, storing it in the variable new entry. In the subsequent seven lines, we transfer the values entered on the update prescription stateless form to this newly created row stored in the new entry variable. Next, create a new collection and type 
store entry dot insert new entry. Here, we create a collection named store entry and then insert the new entry row into this collection. Following this, declare a variable named final entry equals add patient, id equals input dot fetched id. We have already written a report workflow that fetches the record ID of the button and stores it in the fetched ID field. Utilizing this ID, we fetch the record from the patient form by matching it with the value stored in the input data of the fetched ID field. This retrieved record is then stored in the variable final entry. Next, we need to add the row stored in the collection store entry to the variable final entry. This action ensures that a new entry of the row is added to the patient form. Type final entry dot prescription details dot insert store entry. The collection store entry, which contains the newly created new entry row, is inserted into the prescription subform. This action effectively adds the newly created prescription to the patient form. Click done. Next, let's proceed to display the update prescription button on the report. From the editor, access the all patients report. Click on configure fields for web and add the update prescription field under the buttons menu. Let's see how our configuration works in real time. Now let's update the prescription details for a patient on the all patients report. As you can see, the entry made on the pop-up has been successfully added as an additional entry in the prescription subform within the All Patients report. In this way, you can seamlessly manage the addition of new subform records to existing records in your main form, eliminating the need to manually update the main form each time. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video.